story tonight at 10 o'clock. A pair of health advisories put a kink into some folks' plans for the weekend. Public health officials saying today that a toxic, even deadly bacteria has been detected in Lake Cascade. And they're telling folks, stay out of the water. Six on your side's Madeline White has more. Health advisory flyers line Lake Cascade in an effort to warn recreators of the harmful algal blooms. It can cause diarrhea, vomiting, uh, muscle cramps, confusion. And he says it poses an even more serious danger for pets if they lick themselves and accidentally consume the bacteria. It can die from it within a matter of minutes or or hours. This announcement coming on a Friday afternoon left visitors who had already arrived in campers and tents with no other choice but to use their own discretion. One man and his family plan to stay dry. Now that we heard about the problem, apparently, nope. Even though his family drove all the way from Boise. I, I wouldn't do that. It's not worth the risk. I wouldn't do that. But he's not letting it dampen his spirits. We go to the, to the uh, hot springs, I guess, Gold Fork whatever we can find, something to keep busy and have fun. From Cascade, Madeline White, six on your side. Officials from Idaho Parks and Rec tell us Lake Cascade State Park camping grounds were three times as full last weekend than they appear to be this weekend. That's the good news. Here's the other part, though. Late this afternoon, Southwest District Health also reported algae concerns in Lake Lowell. So again, telling swimmers to avoid Lake Lowell. So far this year, algae blooms have shut down parts of Horse Thief Reservoir, Eagle Island State Park, and Esther Simplot Park. The Lake Lowell Recreation Area also shut down last month. That was due to elevated E. coli levels.